an extension. And remember, when you're in an anatomical position, you flexion happens parallel. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry, extension and then flexion, so it's parallel to the palm. So, I'm going to move this one. When we start this one, we're not going to be at zero. So this is one of these little tricky ones. So I'm going to use the base of the thumb at the metacarpal joint, and I'm going to have the stationary arm, and I'm going to hold it um, following the radius, and then I'm going to line up my mobile arm just relax. There you go. with the metacarpal of the thumb. And I'm going to take my initial measurement and it's 15. So that's my starting measurement. So I'm going to have you extend. And again, I'm not looking at what's happening up here. I'm only looking at the first phalange. And I got about 45. So I'm going to have to subtract 15 from that. Okay, because I started at 15. That was my zero. So she has 30 degrees of extension. Let's go back to the starting point and now flex. Sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> and now I'm lined up with the metacarpal and I've gone past zero and I'm at about five on the other side, so I have to add. Okay, so I started at 15 and I went to zero and I added five, so I'm at 20 of flexion. Does that make sense? No. So, so, so more than you, you started at 15. Well, it, yeah. <laughs> you subtract 15 from your ending. So wherever you are when you end, but with flexion, with you, flexion you are going backwards because your numbers are going to get smaller. So, yeah, so if you start at 15 and you end at zero, you'd have 15 degrees of flexion. But if you go beyond that, then you have to look at your the other side of your protractor and add that to it. Yes, yeah.